My name is Johan Oldenkamp, and to me, Bible study is very important. Recently, I launched a prize question. And the prize question is, who was the father of Enoch? And so far, I have not received a single correct answer, and that's why I do an update in this video. And I also raised the price that you can win from 50 euros to 120 euros, because if you can answer this question correctly, you will get a free subscription for two years to Holy Scripture Television. I showed this in the previous video, and yeah, the main question still is, how about the differences between chapter four and chapter five of the book of Genesis? Some people think they can simply cop copy and paste from the version they have and then send it in. Well, that's ridiculous because that's completely silly. And I also explained in my newsletter that that is absolutely not what I think you should do in order to win the prize. Because all versions that we have in, in Christianity are almost all based on the Vulgata. That is the Latin version of the Bible that was released in the year 405 of our current era. But about 200 years earlier, there was also a Latin version. And Rome does not want you to know about this because that Latin version was a translation of the Greek version known as the Septuagint and also abbreviated as LXX because it was created by 70 men. At least that's what we're told. And that was the version based on the original text. Yeah, and I think they came originally from Sumer, at least part of those stories, but that's not relevant. The most, the oldest version that we can study nowadays in a language that is more or less um, yeah, available to us, that is the LXX. And there are many translations in English as well. So I strongly advise you to study that version as I do, because that's the version I use in uh, Holy Scripture television and then the original Greek one, because the translations are not always correct. So the Latin version, for instance, the King James version is based on the Latin version, is not at all similar in most cases to the original text. So that's why you get yeah, very strange stories. And I don't even mention the Hebrew version because that was created 400 years after the Latin version the Vulgata version. So most people think the Hebrew version was the original one. Well, then they are completely mistaken. Do your own research. And if you do your research, then you will find these names, these names in chapter four and these names in chapter five. And there are people who say, yeah, the Enoch of chapter four is not the same as the Enoch in chapter five. Well, the names are identical. And it's not only Enoch, but there are three more names, identical. Only the ordering is different. So can you still say there are two different Enochs? Of course not, that's silly. Yeah. Clearly chapter five is based on chapter four, but I let you do the research in order to find the truth. For now, I thank you for watching this update. As always, you can connect to me via social media, and of course, you can check my website regularly. At least, I'd like to thank you now for watching this update video.